Yo, what's going on you guys? Welcome back to a new video. Today's video, I'm going to show you guys how to optimize your NVIDIA control panel to get more FPS, lower your system latency, and just get better performance in general. So, let's get started. What you're first going to want to do is just go ahead and open the NVIDIA control panel. Once you're in here, go ahead and click the top setting. Click this, drag this to performance, then check this. Click take me there. Once you're here, go ahead and follow all my settings. I might have more than you, you might have more than me. Just leave it on off or whatever the default thing is if you do not know. But just follow along with my settings. You can always pause the video if you need. And then once you're done with that, just click apply. Next, we're gonna go to configure surround. Go ahead and change this processor to your GPU. It should be on auto select for most of you guys, but change it to your graphics card as that is gonna give you the least amount of delay. It will allow for more strain to go into your graphics card rather than your CPU, especially for Fortnite, it's a big deal because with Fortnite, it's a very CPU intensive game. So putting more of a load onto your GPU rather than your CPU will help out a ton. Go to change resolution. When you're here, make sure it's on NVIDIA color settings. Set this to RGB if it's not already. Make sure that output dynamic range is on full. Uh, go ahead and apply that. Then go to adjust desktop color settings. Leave these values, don't touch these. Go ahead and go to your digital vibrance though and set this to something higher. Um, whatever looks the best in your opinion. I know a lot of competitive players put this to like 75 or 80 because it helps them like look through storm. Also, don't use a colorblind mode in Fortnite. It's dog shit. Even though if you like it or Kanata uses it or whatever, it's still dog shit. Don't use it. Adjust your digital vibrance. Put it higher. You can see through storm a bit better. So then just skip down to adjust desktop size and position. And if you play native, make sure your monitor is on no scaling as you want to not mess with that. Everything should be normally set to aspect ratio, but set it to no scaling. If you play stretch res though, make sure it's on full screen or else it'll have like black bars and look funky. So do that. Uh, the settings that you're going to want to have for native res are right here. If you play on stretch res, doesn't matter what the res is, do full screen, set this to GPU scaling, and uncheck this. Uh, and set this to your desired resolution. But I'm on native, so I will be on no scaling, display, checked. Go to your second monitor, if you have one or more, and set this to no scaling, default resolution, display scaling, check this box, and set this to 60 hertz. Don't put it anything lower if you have that, or anything higher, because it'll just put more uh, usage and take more utilization out of your GPU when you want that for your performance. So set it to 60. I do not play competitive gaming anymore, so I don't really care all that much. So I'm gonna leave it at 144. Put it to 60, make sure it's on no scaling, follow these settings for native or stretch res. I already showed that. Supply it and that's it. You've optimized your NVIDIA control panel. There are some more hidden settings and a optimization that I developed myself that actually will lower your delay a lot, like by quite a bit. So if you would like that, then book an optimization session with me and I'll gladly be able to optimize your entire windows or your BIOS, give you custom BIOS settings for your system's specs. That'll boost FPS, lower your ping, lower your system delay, your hardware delay, everything. So if you have any questions, my Discord is down in the description. Open a ticket. We'll be happy to help you. Or you can book your optimization on my website using card. Uh, if you don't have card and you want to use Cash App or PayPal, make a ticket in my Discord. And that's about it. So if you guys did enjoy this video, make sure to drop a like, subscribe, comment, do all that good shit. I'll see you guys in the next one. Later.